Hello, and welcome to another video in the Febuscary campaign series. In the previous video, we showed how pigs are sexually abused and bred for their flesh. In this video, we're going to expose how sheep are predated on and exploited in a similar way. Sheep are most commonly exploited for their flesh and their wool. In terms of sexual exploitation, sheep have proved to be a little more difficult to find information on, which is raising suspicion. From the research we have conducted, AI is not the most common form of impregnation for sheep. However, in recent years, it's clearly becoming more widely advocated to farmers. According to Farmers Weekly, increasing numbers of sheep producers are following in the footsteps of their dairy counterparts by using artificial insemination as a means of improving genetic traits in their flocks. Generally, ram masturbation and semen collection will carry out as follows. A teaser ewe will be restrained in a headstool. A ram is then let into the collecting area. Rams will be allowed to express their sexual behaviours towards the restrained ewe while the semen collector crouches behind them with an artificial vagina in their hand. We fill it up with hot water so it keeps it at, a, at the right temperature. We have these, we put that in there. And this is just to keep it all warm as well. And that is what we use, very simple and very effective. The ram then mounts the ewe. The human will then use their left hand to deflect the penis away from the ewe's vagina and into the artificial vagina. The prep use should not be grabbed or yanked towards the AV, but rather gently guided in. A final upwards pelvic thrust signifies ejaculation. Donna will take around five collections of semen from the rams each day, a task that can prove to be somewhat challenging. The semen will then be stored for the disturbing artificial insemination process. Looks like the semen collector was having quite a good time considering how inappropriate and bizarre this whole process is. If that wasn't weird enough, the insemination process for the female sheep is even weirder. There are multiple ways for sheep to be artificially inseminated, including vaginal, cervical and laparoscopic. Laparoscopic AI is typically favoured in the UK because semen is deposited directly into the uterus, making conception rates higher and frozen semen can be used. In the laparoscopic method, the U is restrained upside down in a terrifying medieval-like contraption called an AI cradle. Start to be prepared. Um, we make a small incision on the left and a small incision on the right. We use a, a 10 millimeter um, throw hair. That's what we use to make the incision on the left hand side. That's the side that the scope will go through. She is then cut into on the left and right hand side above her udder. Okay. And the goat's blunt. It goes in. A camera is then inserted to view the womb. The sheep appears to be conscious and is moving around in an uncomfortable way as the man pumps gas to displace the stomach and intestines. The uterine horns then are moving into position. The semen is then probed and prodded into the right hand side of the ewe. AI is becoming increasingly advocated over the old school way of breeding because a ram with good quality semen, adequate testicular size and a good libido can breed up to 100 ewes in a season, whereas artificial insemination can magnify the breeding potential and genetic influence of a single ram by many times. So one ram could be used over several hundred ewes rather than possibly that one ram being used over just 50 ewes. So we're able to spread that ram's, those elite ram's genetics across a lot more ewes and have a greater genetic influence. What is seemingly a more common practice for breeding sheep involves the following. The ewes have their reproductive organs exploited through the controlling of their cycle and sponging. Sponging synchronises the ewes so they all come into mating season at the same time. It looks kind of like a sheep version of an IUD, which is kind of the point of it. It's to actually stop them from cycling like a birth control. And then this is the little applicator. Like you're using the same applicator on all the ewes, so this kind of cleans it, but it's a lubricant too. So I just do that and then it's all moved up 
insertion should be easier. Sponges infused with progesterone are lubricated and then penetrated into the vagina of non-consenting animals. Two weeks later, the sponges are removed and the sheep are injected with PMSG to increase ovulation. Um, Brian will also be administering PMSG. The ram is then introduced to the herd to have his way with the young female sheep. Sheep are branded with paint to show that they have been successfully mounted by the ram. When these sheep are no longer of profit to the farmer, they are all of course sent to be brutally executed and decapitated in a slaughterhouse. All I see here is human domination, manipulation, exploitation and violation of vulnerable and defenceless animals so they can be murdered for monetary gain. All you need to do to really see how disturbing and unjustified this behaviour is, is to put yourself in the animal's position. Please share this video far and wide with the hashtag FebuScary to those who need to see exactly the type of sexual abuse of non-consenting animals they are paying for when they purchase animal products. Let's all oppose and boycott the sexual exploitation of sentient beings no matter the species. Thank you.